Hello there. How are you doing? It's fall and you should be happy and you got up this morning and everything's okay. But were you procrastinating on something? A lot of us procrastinate. I used to. I don't anymore. I just had to get out of it. You know, you wait till the last minute to do something. Okay, that form you were supposed to fill out, and you had almost two months to fill it out, but you wind up filling it out the day before or the hour before you're supposed to do something. Doctors like to send those forms out now, even though you've been at the same doctor for the last 30 years, and they have a form. Fill out this form again, and you procrastinate. You put it away. Sometimes you can't find it. If it's online, you forgot where the site was. Everything's going wrong. You forget because you procrastinated. And, you know, other things come in. Data breach forms. How many people missed out on data breaches because they put it aside? I'll get to it. I'll do it. And then all of a sudden, I, you know, there's this rush and madness going on. You know, I see a lot of questions on the internet. When is that data breach supposed to be in? When is this happening? You know, like it. And they, they told you, you know, they got a certain block of time and you don't do it. Okay, you missed out. There's a lot we procrastinate. You know, I don't think God procrastinates at all. He's got his plan. Everything's organized. It's in order. He's not procrastinating. Because we don't know if we're going to have a tomorrow. We shouldn't be procrastinating. We should get on it right then. And when we got time, within a few days maybe, and not procrastinate. And not leave things behind, even with budgeting. Don't procrastinate. You're starting a new month. Don't procrastinate. You can start earlier than that. You could probably work on the next few months and kind of see, where do, will I be if this happened? Have you tried it out for a few months and just dream about, well, what would happen if we kept doing this next month? How much do you think we would save next month? Where can I cut corners for next month? And you probably would get further because you could see what was happening. You know, just make up a little budget sheet or something and just go, okay, next month, let's see what happens if we keep on this same road. Well, what if we change a few things and maybe we won't eat out as much? Let's take that away. Let's me and my husband cut down on personal things. Instead of taking a hundred dollars for each person, let's take twenty-five for the month. You know, change things. See if you can go a few months and see what's going on. Maybe you can go till the end of the year and see what's going on. That's what I do. I go I go further than that. I keep on with my budget until I look at it and see this is how much money I'm gonna make if I keep doing this or whatever I'm doing. So don't procrastinate. Start thinking. Start using your brain. Keep that brainstorming down. And we'll answer a few comments. Um, budget with Fatima. She said good morning at the time. And thank you for everything. Thank you for always coming and, and writing on here. I really appreciate it so much when you show up. There's a lot of them I appreciate. And thank you for your kind comments. You know, my grandmother and my mom and my grandparents, the, the dads in the building. Yeah, they they all have strong beliefs. You know, they're, they're a strong family. They went through a lot. You know, my mother's side went through more, but they have strong beliefs and strong faith. And, you know, when I ask them to pray, they all come together. And that's what they do, and we hope for the best for everybody that's having trouble also in the world. So er, keep your head up, and Fatima, I still love the camper. I'm, it's not there yet, but I'm waiting to see it. So take care. Okay, frugality is life. She's always there every day, and she I know she's for abundance. She's getting herself self together. She's working on the foundation and her Etsy shop. So everything is just great over there. She's doing fine. And I know her and her husband are working together. You know, that's hard if you don't have a spouse that works with you because I've been through it. 
And some of you say you are going through it. So, you know, we know what can happen if they don't work with you. And even sometimes your kids don't work with you. You know, they, they kind of can throw a few basketballs and skating, skate boards right in the middle of all your money and it just explodes. But thank you for showing up for Frugality is Life. And thank you for being here, you and Fatima. And some of the others. I'm not missing you. I'm trying to read the comments. And we had old school budgets. She says she's debt free. You know, she's out, out of it. And now she's going to try to enjoy, which is great, her money and her spending without feeling guilty. And that's where you want to be. You want to be right there where you can actually go out and do something. So that is great. Thank you, old school budgets. And then she said, you have been, we've been, yeah, we, you, she said, we have been conditioned to pay bills. It's more to life than paying bills. Yes, it is. It's more to life than paying bills. We will have a hard time, some of us, when we are totally debt free. You know, imagine your house is paid off, your cars, bills, nobody's coming af after you. And all of a sudden, you're sitting there going, now what do I do? Okay, so yeah, you're going to have a hard time doing that one, So, but you'll get through it. Good morning, uh, Save with Judy, and thank you for coming. Thank you for keeping me encouraged. I look for you all the time. It's a lot of them, they come in like all the time. They speak all the time, and then I miss them, and then some I got to go find. And like, where is so-and-so? <laughs> you know, but thank you, Judy, for coming. Love your savings challenges, and I love a lot of other people's savings challenges, too. Um, let's see. This is Miss April Budgets and Save, and she says, Abundance before I even finish the video. Thank you. I needed this because student loan man is back. Yeah, student loan people are back, but you're going to make it. You're going to pay it off, and we're going to cheer you on, so do not sit there and worry about it. You just start saving enough and pay it off, and think of that bill as abundance. It's money coming back at you, money eventually that you won't have to pay out. So that's money coming back at you. So, you know, save it, pay it, and get them out of there. You know, get rid of the student loan man. I like that. <laughs> All right, the next one is EMT dispatcher on a budget she said good morning i enjoyed watching and listening thank you for sharing and abundance with three hearts yeah she's a cheerleader of mine and she you know she's all into it and it's abundant she works hard if you ever been to these people's channels go to their channels and subscribe we got denise down here and denise thank you for coming and she says, as long as my bind, my money goes into my binders, I don't care which way. I don't either. If it gets in there, I'm fine. I'm happy. As long as it gets in there and everything's happening, that's okay. And you stay blessed too, Denise. Okay? And you always think abundance is old school budgets. Okay? And Denise is laughing because I'm up early. Yeah, I'm up early because I had got off of work. So there I was, up early. All right. And also some other people. So let's see if we can find... I won't do another one today because I want to go to um, the other part. But I did see on another video, I was looking at videos, Debt to None. Welcome, 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 welcome. I've been where you have my... My uh, son had passed away, and it's very hard. You know, first year, it was rough, and it's still rough if you think hard about it. And uh, you just got to go through and have God take care of you. And we'll try to be as okay as we can, because we'll see him again. So take care, and I love you so much, and you're going to be all right. Just keep on slowly. Take your time. Just take your time. All right. So today we are doing vacation. And I did finish up, before I forget, um, the 30-day spending. So that was $30 a day. So that's $900 I put in there. And it's fully funded right there so we did finish that one up for september i did want to remind myself to say that so vacation which one are we doing here 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see this one without going. Okay. So that is a six, two, three, four, five, six. And we have not did entertainment before. So we'll do 115. How's that? 115. One, two, three. Do I have a hundred? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I got two fifties. So we'll do 115 into that one today. And that was entertaining. Let me entertain you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. The first time you got money. Money, 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 money. Okay, so we're done with this one. This was from was from Sheen's Corner Shop. And I gotta look, I, I keep forgetting to look her up. I know who it is because I see her all the time. Okay, we're gonna do our sinking funds and try to figure out where are we going for vacation so we may have to do this like twice a month to give the others some, some more play here so I got a bunch of fives so we'll go to the fives in and see where we're going so my ends focus okay two Canada Dominica so you get five dollars and you get five dollars <laughs> all right now in the end what happens is i'm gonna take all the money out the other binders and we're just going to work on the one that comes out on top where the family is going six six is jamaica and we just found out we had relatives in jamaica and they're excited. <laughs> you have to come down here and blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're coming. Hold on. Hold your little horses. That's a nine. Is that a nine? I'm going to say it's a nine. Because the other one was the other way. So nine is Puerto Rico. There you are. I'm going to put a five in there. Two again, okay. Two is Dominica. Eight, eight is Paris. And if you wanna know, I know some people are going, why didn't you um, say France? Well, when I was making them, I just had cities we were going to at first. And then, you know, like I had Dubai, and then I had Paris, and that was about it. And then all of a sudden, it went to the country <laughs> with my relatives like, hmm, oh, we want. Okay, so that one's Spain, and Dubai's in UAE, so it was like, okay. And I just didn't order another one for France. But we'll be there if we pick it. <laughs> Won't just be Paris. Okay, the next one is 11, and that's the UAE in Saudi Arabia. Okay, who's the next number? That was a two. Maybe you want me to roll it again, because maybe, okay, 10. 10 is Spain again. Okay, that's your turn Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Stay in position. Six. Six is Jamaica. Jamaica. I had a friend who used to call it Jamaica. I said, is that the, really the pronunciation? Okay. 
You could always come up with these different words. <laughs> and I didn't, you couldn't tell whether he was playing or not. That's what the problem was. That's nine. I cannot get figure out the little stripes sometimes. So nine is Puerto Rico. I don't mind where I'm going. The family, they picked which places they wanted to go. And um, just had input about it. And so um, I told them, I don't care where I'm going. Just get me out of here for a minute. <laughs> just go. Israel. I said, the only thing stopping us if they decide something bad's over there and they put some kind of alert. The <laughs> United States goes, no. I said, then we'll have to pick the second one. So I, I will pick one, two, three in order, but in case, <laughs> things happen. You know, stuff be happening. You be like, well, never mind. <laughs> Oops, bounce, bounce, bounce. It's the exercise cash bear mama fitness crew. Number five is Israel again. Some of these aren't getting, you know, sometimes when I'm doing this, some of the other ones get a lot. And then I'm wondering, because I haven't counted. I don't know what's going on in here. Six. Well, oh, Jamaica. Jamaica look like it's getting a little packed over there. Hmm. Frugality is life. <laughs> Probably sitting over here. Yeah, Jamaica, Jamaica. And I got somebody else rooting for something else. Dominica. I know my dad's rooting for Dominica. Three, Dominican Republic. Eight. Eight is Paris. Paris. We'll go to the fives and put down in the comments. Who are you rooting for for us to go? Okay, four is Egypt. With the pyramids. Although they were talking about the same pyramid, type of pyramids, are in Japan. And they also found something here. They're trying to excava excavate, and then down in Mexico, they got, you know, they got pyramids, but they're finding they're kind of all related. So I think years ago that, you know, because they could have crossed where um, Russia is with the Bering Strait, that see, all this land was con supposed to be connected, if you look on the line, and all they would have had to do was walk. You know, from even from South America over to Africa, they got that map that does that. United Kingdom. I know some of you were rooting like, "Where are we at?" <laughs> I'm not happy. What is it? Happy, happy. You know, happy on a budget. Yeah, with my little dog. I forgot the dog's name. I like that dog. Okay, Paris. Paris, Paris. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Number. I'm thinking that's a nine. Nine is Puerto Rico. Two. Is that Jamaica? No, Dominica. Paris. Paris. Can you see it? No. no way up there. Okay, get to. I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna get out of sight. <laughs> Trying to get me in trouble. They be over here talking about, you know you changed that. Okay. Nine. Puerto Rico. Mm. 
We're almost down. The fives are dwindling down. Two. Dominica. Dominica. Okay. Three. Dominican Republic. Right. One, two, three. Come out the way. Come back. Six. Six is Jamaica. I put these in alphabetical order, too. I was like, nope. Make it easier to find. Two. Mm-hmm. And the giveaway. I didn't forget the giveaway. So you can write at the bottom if you want to be entered in the giveaway. Let's see, what was that? 12, 12 is the United Kingdom. If you want to be get, entered in the giveaway, and I will see it when I go to YouTube Studio and write the names down. Yeah, I haven't forgot. I just look busy, but I am busy. <laughs> I didn't even look at my ambition. Okay. Come back. Stop it. Okay, one more time. Three. Dominican Republic. Okay. Dominican Republic. I'm recording. Hold on. That's all right. And then we got a few more. Okay, here we go. Six is Jamaica. Seven is Japan. Eight is Paris. I was going to go in order. Really? Okay, got to hurry up. Three is Dominican Republic. Okay, we got one more, people. One more. One more. Okay, the last one. Eleven. The UAE. So there we go. All right, we are done for today. I hope you have a great day, great evening, good night, good morning, whatever. Whatever it is, afternoon. But take care of yourself. Enjoy everything that's going on in your life. Because, you know, tomorrow is not promised. And we have to do what we got to do and not procrastinate. So take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.